replacement opponent usually means crap opponent. It usually means a guy who hasn't even been heard of before, and now he's suddenly in the top 10 of every organization. Now, yeah, I wanted the Estrada fight. I wanted the trilogy. We were going to get another slice of high-quality, highly competitive boxing for those who appreciate the finer art in those lower weight divisions. But this is a tremendous replacement, the best I can remember, period. Julio Cesar Martinez is a fun, exciting gunslinger in the ring. He's explosive. He's a cheeky chappy. I just prefer the narrative and the contrast with this one. And another reason why I'm very enthusiastic about this fight, why I'm not that disappointed we're not going to be getting the Choco Estrada trilogy, is that Rung Versailles needs a dance partner. There's a guy who has unfinished business with Estrada. That's a series which I actually view as genuinely one apiece. And so it's going to fall onto the mighty little shoulders of Martinez to see whether or not he can take his career to that next level. But what's really interesting about this fight, what's very unique about it, is that this will be the first time that Chocolatito has fought somebody shorter than himself since 2010. Yeah, that long ago. He fought a dude called Francisco Rosas, who was only 5 foot. Choco's only 5'3". Martinez is 5'2". Theoretically, Gonzalez can impose himself on this guy like he used to in the lower weights when he just had incredible knockout streaks. And with Martinez's style, he is going to be all too willing to trade. This little Mexican is going to have to try and draw from his youth. He's going to have to use those explosive combinations to catch Chocolatito early doors. Try and shock him. Try and make him think, oh God, am I just a little bit too old tonight? And one of the things Martinez actually has in common with the Nicaraguan is this ability to follow you with a combination. Once he sees you in distress, he'll just keep it on you. He has the creativity to be able to do that. So he'll make space with the uppercuts. And then he'll swipe wide to the head as you try and back away. He also has a habit of switching stance. I'm not sure of how much use that will be against Chocolatito, but this is a guy who does have a few tricks up his sleeve. He likes to mix it up. He is creative. And as we saw in his last fight against McWilliams Arroyo, if he gets hurt, he comes right back at you. And so the onus is on Martinez to try and boss the action. Try to push Chocolatito back. If you can do that to come forward, guys... They don't really have anywhere else to go. The problem is that Chocolatito is so good at coming forward. One of the things that I think goes over the head of casual fans that opponents aren't ready for are the subtleties in his defense. With the shoulders, the forearms, he keeps his chin down. He has an ability to remain in the cauldron in warlike fights and just thrive. This is the real problem for Martinez. He might catch Chocolatito with a few bursts. He might be doing well. He might be able to keep up with the pace for a while. But he's a little bit upright himself. If he gets pushed against the ropes and they get into trading, I have to go with the guy who knows how to deflect shots better. That's Roman Gonzalez all day, every day. He does get hit. It's in the nature of his game, but he's great at riding with shots, picking them off, catching them, shrugging off the odd clean one, and then just sticking it on you. And if we were talking prime for prime, I don't think anybody would pick Martinez. It seems like the outcome of this fight hinges on just what Chocolatito has left to offer. If he is 85% the fighter he once was, which seems to be the case with his last couple of performances, I just think this Mexican is in trouble. Gonzalez might relish the fact he is the bigger man here. He's a fairly broad 5 foot 3, and if he can push him back early, I don't think Martinez has got the raw power of Ungvisai. If he can't stiff him, if he can't drop him, 
then what are his options? To try and outland Gonzalez over the distance, that's not going to work either. I think the resistance he will provide will make for a spectacle. I think it's going to be a fantastic fight. But I think it's going to be one of those cases of always trying to swim against a stronger current. And Chocolatito is going to add a memorable win onto an already amazing career. But what do we make of this fight at Superfly? This incredible replacement fight. Do you prefer it over the Estrada rubber match? Like myself, do you really want to see Estrada Rung Versailles 3? And when it comes down to Chocolatito Martinez, who are you picking and how?